Hi everyone, this is Andy with Bloom.com and today we're going to review ActiveCampaign. This is a customer experience platform that will help you with your marketing and sales process where you can group your contacts, manage your deals, send marketing emails, and more. Let's start. All right, like I said, ActiveCampaign is a platform that allows you to manage your marketing and sales process. Originally, they started as an email marketing service but with time, they added other features like automations, CRM, forms, site tracking, and more. Today, we're going to focus on the CRM side, but we will review the other sections as well. Every time you open ActiveCampaign, you start on your dashboard. Here, you can find important information about your deals, email campaigns, and your tasks. On the left side, you will find a menu that you can use to move between different modules like contacts, automations, and deals. Also, you will find a search bar on the top. On the bottom of this panel, you can find the marketplace, the settings, and your profile. When you click on any of the modules, the module will open, and it will also show the submodules related. For example, this module is called Contacts, but in here we can find the submodule Contacts and the submodule Accounts as well, along with other submodules. To add a new contact, just click on the button and complete the fields. Once you click on Add, you can also classify the contact, add it to a list, and more. Click on any contact to open it. Here you will find the basic information at the top, some general details in the center, related emails, tasks, and notes on the bottom, and recent activity on the center of the screen. I really like the design of ActiveCampaign, as well as how everything is organized. It is intuitive and simple to use. ActiveCampaign has a lot of features included out of the box that will help you manage your marketing and sales. The majority of these features are related to sending email campaigns, but the other modules also have some cool features. These are the ones that I like the most. Some modules have recommendations that you can use to set up your module or to start using the module's features, but you can turn this off if you're already a pro. Another feature that I like is you can easily add and customize the pipelines on the CRM module. You can also change the color of each stage. Conversations is a chat app that you can add to your website, and if someone sends you a message, you will be able to respond back directly from ActiveCampaign. The only downside is that you have to pay extra for this one. You can also create a website directly in ActiveCampaign. The web builder is very intuitive and lets you add forms that you can create in this app as well, so everything is integrated. But if you already have a website, you can use this site tracking module and install the code in your website. And I think the feature that I like the most is automations, which is really powerful compared to other solutions out there, but we will talk about this later on the video. Now let's talk about customization. Active campaign doesn't allow you to customize it a lot, but the basics are covered. You can add fields to the contacts, accounts, and deal modules, and you can use that information to group contacts or customize emails and automations. On the CRM side, you can create several pipelines and customize some of the stage options. You can also change the task type to match your sales process. Another customization feature is email templates. You can create and fully customize email templates that you can use in your campaigns. And you can also create safe responses that you can use to respond to emails directly from the CRM. Finally, you can create and customize forms that you can send to your contacts to gather information, or you can add to your website as a contact form. The information that the form gathers will be added to the contact module automatically. Earlier in this video, I mentioned automations as a feature. ActiveCampaign has a really robust automation module. Here, you can create really customizable workflows that can be triggered automatically or manually. For example, you can trigger an automation manually when you change a field in the contacts profile, or you can trigger an automation automatically when a new person subscribes to a newsletter. Some of the actions you can perform are sending marketing emails, sending text messages, sending email notifications to coworkers. You can also use conditions like if else, wait, and others. And you can even start or stop other automations outside this one. You can also trigger actions related to the contact or deal record, like update a field, add tags, change the deal's title, change the value, change the status, add tasks, and more. 
And finally, you can trigger actions in other apps that have direct integrations with Active Campaign, like Slack, Google Sheets, and other apps. I think the automation module is really good and can do a lot of things that other similar apps can't, and it is really easy to use. Integrations is a really powerful feature that will help your app connect with other apps and share information. ActiveCampaign has an app marketplace where you can find a lot of applications that work with ActiveCampaign. Some of these apps have a native integration set up like Calendly, Stripe, PayPal, and more, which will allow the apps and ActiveCampaign to talk to each other in a really detailed way. You can also find the integrations menu in the settings where you can connect apps that the majority of the active campaigns customers use like Shopify and Facebook. If you're the admin of your organization, you will have a great time with active campaign. There is not much software customization involved, which is great if what you're looking for is a simple platform. Adding custom fields, creating pipelines and stages and creating email templates is straightforward. Automations will take more time to learn, but you can create a really simple automation to start. And once you're more comfortable, you can set up more complicated automations. Also adding users and groups is really simple. Okay, let's review the pricing. Like I mentioned before, active campaign is focused on email marketing. So the pricing structure is based on features as well as the amount of contacts you have in your database. This will allow you to send emails or campaigns to all of them. The more contacts you have, the more expensive it is. So assuming that you have less than 5,000 contacts in your system, the monthly cost for the plus plan is $169 per month, and it includes up to 25 users. And the professional plan includes 50 users, and it is $239 a month. The price is really good, considering that you can centralize your contacts, email campaigns, deals, and even create a website. But keep in mind that the CRM is not really robust yet. There are other CRMs out there that have some advantages over ActiveCampaign. I would recommend ActiveCampaign to anyone who is looking for a simple way to send marketing email to your contacts, as well as managing deals and trying to keep everything organized in the same place. The CRM is basic, but gets the job done, and being able to centralize the marketing and sales efforts is great. If you're looking for an all-in-one tool, this is for you. If you already have a CRM in place and you're looking for a marketing automation software, maybe this is also a good fit for you. But if what you're looking for is a CRM, I would go with a different one, like HubSpot, Pipedrive, or Soho CRM. They are more customizable and more advanced than ActiveCampaign CRM. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up. I have a question for you. Are you currently using a software like ActiveCampaign? And if you do, which are you using? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.